Hi there, I'm Alex Gurr from Blackwell Global. Coming to you today's daily market update. The leading news stories over the weekend was the OPEC meeting for oil, uh, where the OPEC members decided to hold rates at current levels. This was a surprise for some nations, such as Venezuela, which complained about the current oil prices, and other various Arabic oil producers who have been suffering with the low oil prices. And the reason for this is that Saudi Arabia and Iran believe that currently the market is going through a low patch, but they don't want to have a knee-jerk reaction in the present market. And what this means is that we may see oil prices fall even lower from the current $64 a barrel, which it has opened on this morning. And going forward though, we could see it also drop down into the $50 zone, which would be a bit of a surprise for the market. However, it seems unlikely that it will sustain these prices for very long, and we may see some sort of bullish uptrend from the $50 zone. And moving across to the UK, and house prices last week were flat at 0.3%. This is priced in by the market. However, the pound continues in its bearish downtrend. We may see further falls in the long run. And moving across to the euro, the CPI flash estimate came in at 0.3%. This is still a very weak result for the European Union, and it's likely that Draghi will talk up the prospect of more stimulus. However, the EU still remains pretty fractured over the fact of more stimulus, but in order to beat deflation, you need to stimulate the markets, so it's inevitable that we will see something from him. And looking at the Canadian dollar, and their GDP was month on month 0.4%. Strong result for the Canadian economy, but these low oil prices will have a massive impact in the long run for the Canadian economy. We may see some declines in GDP in the long run. The Canadian dollar, however, has remained rather strong, but in the long run it's likely it will fall against the US dollar with the oil prices dropping. And finally, looking at New Zealand business confidence. And this lifted for a change to 31.5 after the last few months where it has dropped. And the reason for this is that the New Zealand economy has been falling, but it seems that business has seen some sort of confidence, especially in the labour market and with the build up to Christmas. So we may see some strong New Zealand dollar results there. Now, that's good. That's what we have time for today. Thank you for watching.